With Garrisons, a lot of the followers and missions are references to random stuff, just like many other things in WoW, with Leroy Jenkins' follower being the most obvious. This video will list about 10 of those things. Milhouse Manastorm is a reoccurring character in WoW and kind of a joke. He first appears in a BC dungeon, the Alcatraz, where you can set him free and he'll help you with the encounter while frequently saying amusing things. Then he appears again in Stonecore, casting Impending Doom right before getting killed by the Stone Snake. Then he appears again as a rank 8 boss in the Brawler's Guild and Miss, and finally as a follower in Warlords. Many of the missions you can send your followers on are basically just puns and references that they then make the missions based on. For example, the mission Path of the Titans is a direct reference to a system Blizzard announced with Cataclysm that was supposed to give your character a lot of different ways to be customized, as well as tying into archaeology in some way. The mission itself takes place in a Cataclysm Zone, and even mocks the concept in the mission description. There's also the Burning Crusade, a mission with a 100% success chance no matter who you send, obviously referencing the fact that Warlords is like the Burning Crusade expansion. Gone with the Wind, a pun on the name Gone with the Wind, a famous book and movie, and Twisting the Nether, a pun on the name Twisting Nether, where all the demons come from, and many, many more. There is a female human you can recruit as a follower from the inn named Mina Kunis. She is a reference to Mila Kunis, one of the few celebrities that's publicly stated to play WoW. There is a secret cave under your fishing shack with a skeleton and a treasure box of garrison supplies. Your first garrison follower is the Torn and Night Elf from the opening cinematic from Vanilla WoW. When you use Olin, the Torin, as a patrol during an invasion, he has the flavor text, let me sprinkle some dust on that while fighting. There are two items you can get through missions which you can use to teach your follower a new trait, the secondary stats, Dancer and Hearthstone Pro. The Dancer trait comes from the mission, The Dance Studio, Northrend Academy of Dance, a reference to The Dance Studio, a future Blizzard said would be in Wrath of the Lich King, but was never actually implemented. The Dancer trait allows you to counter danger zones, making it the only trait that can counter an ability and has the potential to give a follower three counters instead of two you get from being an epic follower. Hearthstone Pro trait comes from the Hearthstone Tournament mission, which just increases the experience gained for all followers on the same mission by 35%. I should also mention that these two items will replace a trait, not add a new one, so I wouldn't recommend using them on a follower with good traits like Epic Mount or Scavenger, as it replaces one of those traits at random. When you send your followers on missions, you can actually watch them leave your garrison to go on their missions. A lot of the follower skills and traits have pretty funny descriptions if you read them carefully. The Alliance follower Fiona is the same Fiona from the Eastern Plaguelands quest chain of Fiona's Caravan. Alexei Barov and Weldon Barov, two followers you can find randomly under a tree if you have a lumber mill, are one of the many callback followers who appear in game. That is, NPCs who have appeared at one point in the game somewhere else. Since I have a heavy horde bias, I'll be talking about Alexei Barov. Back before Cataclysm, Alexei was a quest giver in the Tirisful Glades, and has you help him get the Barov family fortune by going into Skolomonts and killing his brother. On the Alliance side, his brother pretty much asks you the same thing. In Cataclysm, they stop trying to kill each other and instead appear as quest givers side by side, asking you to get rid of the Scourge in their former home. With Mist and Skolomonts becoming a heroic dungeon, they just straight up disappeared. In Warlords, they decide to become business partners and immediately betray each other once they get to Draenor by dropping a giant log on the other. Once you have Alexei as a follower, he hangs out in your lumber mill and sells spring-loaded spike traps, even though he can't actually be assigned to the lumber mill as a worker. Alexei Barov is also the undead shown in the Eastern Kingdom's loading screen from Wrath of the Lich King. So when they post a snarky comment in their head and their quiet room, it seems harmless in context to the writer, but may come off as snarky or rude to the reader. It's totally just punch, now drink it pussy. You know what Frank, you're always trying to pull shit like this. His weakness was Scorpid Sting, a sting that hunters use that would lower the target's hit chance by 5%. When used on Franklin, it would remove his frenzy and make him so his melee attacks only did 1 damage. At the beginning of Cataclysm, I got Error 122 while trying to log into Deep Hold once. In the Temple of the Earth, there are 16 NPCs. 122 plus 16 equals 138. 138 divided by 23 is 6. 